I'm the most awesome smelling scent there is. Hey, pal, you be quiet. You're old school. Yeah, and I'm still being sold. That's how good I am. I'm total beast mode. Hey, man, I'm beast mode too. I'm beast mode too, brah. You can't say that shit. Oh, shut up, faggot. You ain't, you can't last two minutes. I'm a real man scent. You just smell like fruity pineapple. Shut the fuck up, brah. I get some pussy. I used to get pussy, but I retired because I had so much pussy. You son of a bitch. I'm the best fragrance out the two of us. Shut the fuck up, huh? Shut the fuck up, you man. Hey, bitch. Hey, bitch. Shut up. Bitch. Please. I'm the best thing that's ever been made. I'm Fahrenheit. I'm Dior. You could release me 30 years from now, and I'd still be the best thing. I'm out of here, man. I'm going for a drink. Hey, man. You think you're a big shot, huh? You think you're a big tough guy? Shut the fuck up. I've been around longer than you. Everybody loves me. Everybody loves me more. Yeah, but I'm brand new. But I'm even newer. You could release me 30 years from now, and I'd still be new. Hey, fuck, you ain't got time for this shit, man. Yeah, man. I'm so cool, I'm so flash. I get pussy all the time. I smell like petroleum. Deal with it, man. I need a life. Hey, guys. Lex here with another fragrance video. Now today I'll be talking about the house of Jacques Bogart, a house I absolutely adore, as you guys know. And today I'll be talking about one of the more sort of secret scents, or one of the ones that not that many people know about. So this is Arabian Nights. This was released in 2010. Now this is one of these ones that I don't know much to make of. I looked it up, and the one thing that attracted me was the bottle. I absolutely love this bottle. But uh, I'll go on to that later. The one thing was this got so many hated reviews. So many people on base notes hated this. Um, one of the blogs I read, it's a powerhouse blog, even the person on that hated this. Everybody hates this. So if everybody hates it and goes, oh, about how bad it is, what does that mean? I have to buy it. I have to. <laughs> I have to buy it. Anyhow, let's talk about the bottle. I absolutely love this bottle. It's basic. It's basically the City Tower bottle. But I just love what they've done with it. And it's nice gold here. you get the Bogart B. There, I'm not sure if you can see it. You get Arabian Nights in this lovely font, which I quite like. Uh, you have Jacques Bogart Paris there. You have a bit of information engraved on the bottom. And that's about it. You have the sort of silver to scent intense sprayer. Really heavy sprayer. Nice bottle, actually, really like it. It looks quite classy. It's a lot very Arabian, you know, something to see in East. But yeah, let's look at the sprayer. Excellent sprayer, I have to say, like most Bogart sprayers, really good here. Yeah, nice thick mist. Basically, exact same spray as Silver Scent and Bogart for Rome. So, what I get this right off the bat? Mmm. I'm not too sure what to think about this one, to be honest with you. Hmm. It has a very stinky vibe, if that makes sense. Like, imagine you're going through a marketplace. This is actually something I read in base notes. It made a lot of sense. Man, you're going through a market place, you know, a Saudi Arabian marketplace, and you go, do -do 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 -do, and you get the guys with the, <laughs> -do 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 -do, and the, the snake coming out and stuff like that. That sort of stuff going on, you know? Imagine that, and all these, you're walking by these people, and you all these powerful scents hitting you. It's actually, I'm getting a wee bit of a headache from sniffing it, actually. This is, this is really strong, we'll talk about that later. Um, a few people said this reminds them of a certain Amorage scent, I'm not sure. I wouldn't be surprised because you know, it's Arabian themed and stuff and Bogart are pretty good at doing that sort of incense Arabian vibe. It has that sort of incense vibe, but it's not as sort of strong, sort of dark oody in a way almost, but I'm trying to think how to describe it. It's just very stinky. It's, I'm not sure, like, this is one of these ones where sometimes I spray it and I think it's not bad, other times I spray it and I hate it. Now, judging by the views, um, this is incredibly oily, as you can see here. Yeah, look how shiny my hand is where I've sprayed it. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Um, this is one of the ones where I'm not too sure about, to be quite honest with you guys. I sound like the most unprofessional guy. I have this is the worst review I've ever done. <laughs> but my mother actually loved this. She thought it was quite nice. I guess um, in light sprays this could be quite nice. I'm just I'm trying to pick out something that I can I can identify with in this. You know, it's it's a very strange scent, incredibly strange, very boom stinky Arabian sort of oody florally, but incense it's it's just crazy. Yeah, really weird scent, but quite heavy. That's all you about the script. So it's really 
and it's quite feminine, really. It's like a sort of um, if it wasn't marketed for men, I'd easily think it's a female scent, and um, with the bottle as well. Um, yeah, really weird. But let's talk about performance. So I feel I didn't describe that too well, but I'm going to try and do my best the rest of the video. Performance this one is 12 hours plus. This fills a room. This is it's actually worth owning this just because it's a total projection siage monster. Longevity projection 12 hours plus. This stuff fills a room with three sprays. And I'm not kidding. And if you think it, it's not performing, it will factor fatigue. Spray this, okay? And then walk out of the room for 10 minutes and then come back and you'll get boom right in your face. Now, this is drying down actually. I'm actually kind of liking it a bit more. That stinkiness is sort of toning down a bit. And it ha ha has a more high quality vibe underneath. But to be honest, an initial spray, this does not smell like a, jo uh, a Bogart fragrance. You know, you think of Jack, um, Jack Bogart, you think of high quality, you think of, you know, good projection, you think of, you know, classy, you think of something you could wear to a classy nightclub, you know, decent quality. Mm, with this, I'm not too sure. It's always as if they just focused on performance and the smell itself. If you like, I like this because it's pure. If you're in Arabian scent, you probably appreciate this, but it's not one of my favourites. It's not a bad scent. It's not absolutely terrible, that some people are saying. But it's just not the Bogart quality. It's not, you know, silver scent. It's not um, one man show gold edition or Bogart per room. If you're expecting that kind of quality, you're not going to get it with this, if I'm honest. But it's not too bad, and it's pretty cheap. Um, but yeah, performance 12 hours plus. So with this, I would say two to three sprays tops. Chest. Back of neck, wrists, and that's you. Really wouldn't, wouldn't thingy. Now versatility, this is probably not very versatile at all. Um, age group I'd like to say as well, where this is 30 plus. Maybe, well, 20, late 25, late 20s, 30s, um, early 30s, I would say with this. Yeah, it's quite, you can get away with it, maybe. Yeah, it's quite florally. If you were easing the sprays, this could probably be quite heavenly in a way. But I'll see, I'm probably going to try and wear this to work and see people think of it. I'm not too impressed. The dry down's a bit better, but it's nice, but it's not exceptional. That's the name of Bogart. Bogart, it's either, you know, everything I've tried for them has been between very good and exceptional. So, yeah, definitely. And with this one, it's probably not the best one they've released, if I'm honest. So, yeah. But uh, I've talked about age groups. So, this one, where to wear this, I wouldn't recommend. I would recommend this formally. One spray to your chest. One tiny spray, maybe half a spray to your chest. Dress up with this one. You could probably wear it casually, um, but really, like, to work, not a good work fragrance, not a good summer fragrance. For winter, perfect. It performs pretty well, maybe one or two sprays and you'll be good to go. But for summer, no way. Spring, no way. Work, no way. Casual wear, no way. So if you're dressing up, I think one spray, this should be okay. It does have a sort of formal, classy vibe to it in a way, even if it doesn't smell that classy, if that makes sense. So... Yeah, a very hard fragrance meat sum up. Um, I have sniffed it. This isn't a last minute sort of one of my own. I know a lot of my reviews are unscripted and that, but I've already sniffed them before. So I already know what I'm going to say, kind of. You know, I've only got the script sort of in my head, kind of. I'm just rattling away with it, I think. It's, and the dry down, it's actually not bad. It's quite sweet, kind of nice and dry down. Sort of sweet, yeah. Quite, not too bad in the dry down, but the opening might put you off. Not too sure about this one, to be honest. Not the best in Bogart, but again, this might be one of these ones where I hate it, and then uh, six months later, after trying it out, I think, you know, it's a really good scent. Because I hated One Man Show Gold Edition, I thought it was garbage, it turned out it was actually a really good scent. But yeah, so with this one, I'm going to give this about 7 out of 10. It's not 9, 10 out of 10 you expect, so I'm going to give it about 7. Yeah, um, it's pretty cheap. Um, Maybe try and get some samples if you're thinking of buying this. It's pretty cheap, so you can always just buy the bottle. And if you don't like it, well, you've wasted, what, 15 quid? So, but I think it's worth buying this for the experience, just to try it, to try because this is a really unique scent. You've probably not sniffed any of this before, in my personal opinion. Yeah. So that's Arabian Nights. Um, not the most versatile fragrances, um, not the best with Bogart. But yeah, do give it a try. It's a curious scent. It's worth owning just because you get something that unique. And I'll not throw this out. I love the fact it performs really well. I love the fact it's unique and it gives me something more to work with. It's like a new adventure to start on. Uh, a new thing to try out. So that's Bogart Arabian Nights, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it probably wasn't my best review, but I did really try hard with this one. It's just a really... You need to sniff this to see what I'm talking about. You just can't pick out anything from this. It's just really weird. It's strange. 
And um, yeah, that whole Arabian marketplace thing sums us up better than, than any notes could, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are curious about this one and you've heard a lot of talk like I did, I hope this video brought some light um, of what it smells like and what it's overall like. And um, remember, if you have any questions, send them in the uh, send me on Facebook, uh, leave it in the comments, send me a message on YouTube. That's perfectly fine. I'll try and reply to them as fast as I can. And yeah, guys, thank you for watching and keep on smelling fly.